Good morning, New Eden! Today is April 3rd, 2022, and this is the Federation Frontline Report, a podcast where we interview the players of EVE Online and go over faction warfare news. I'm your host, Frozen Fallout, and my co-host is Samson. Good morning, New Eden! Today, we are reviewing the March Faction Warfare report for the month of March and we have a lot to celebrate as the Galente and Mimitar have made some major strides this month. Monkey, no, the whiskey is not for you, sir. We're not entirely sure (laughs) of exactly where all of this uh, crazy flip comes from. There is a lot of good push from, I know a lot of cool corps have joined the Galente and have made some really great uh, pushes in the Placid area. Um, and, but there just, there seems to be like a huge sweep of insanity that's kind of happening, happening. And I believe it has something to do with bots, but that's not confirmed. We're just going to pretend that you didn't say that frozen. Um, there's no bots (laughs) in faction warfare. Well, there are, I mean, like killing them, but, uh, (laughs) one thing red just pointed out in chat is yes, the Tauros has been liberated. Um, we have liberated the Tauros. Uh, that was probably um, our our alliance's um, person or, or you know uh, biggest achievement. I think uh, our, this uh, goal ch- achieved. Main, goal was, achieved. Yeah. <laughs> long stra- strong fights over that system. Uh, time zone where, wars. And, and where where was Diana? And where was Diana? We grew. We grew, we grew our, our corp. We got some, we filled in some of those uh, time slots. And um, on, uh, we'll talk more about this later, I'm sure. But uh, on f- Friday, what was it? The 30? It was the first. Uh, the first for the first. Um, of April. The April of Fool's April. joke. Was yeah, the April Fool's joke. I, I, I spent all day um, plexing with a number of our corps. Uh, so technically, I guess that's not part of this faction warfare report because it happened on April first. But <laughs> it happened before the show, though. So you know, yeah, I think we're, yeah. we're in a gray area of being able to mm-hmm. because that's. I mean, a lot of our stuff is uh, for like War Zone Control is up to date today, um, whereas like the yeah. kill stats and stuff that's a monthly report there. So yeah, yeah. So so. That being said, we'll start with the Galente Federation. We have 325 active PvP members with around 42 corporations and three alliances. During the month of March, the Galente destroyed 8,338 ships. That's a lot. Um, And did over 746 billion is worth of damage. I feel like this is high for Galente. Um, Um, And and that's a good thing. Pretty decent, yeah. Um, Yeah. I think it's one of our... Um, higher kills for, in a long time. Yeah. And we'll kind and of go over zone, that and, and kind of probably poke into that a little bit more too when we go over the the deep dive. Yeah, we'll hit the deep dive version. <clears throat> um, in, in Warzone Control though, we currently have 29 systems under control and more f- falling as we speak. At least five more systems will be liberated during downtime. Um, so... Yeah, I mean we're doing we're doing good, and Atoros is one of the most important systems in all of New Eden. The shining, the shining jewel of Black Raz was liberated April first, as we said, um, and we're gonna have a month long celebration for that. Hell in the Lie Die Protection Service Assembly Plant. Um, yeah, you know, come join us. Come hang out at the assembly plant since the crack house has been destroyed. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we can actually use the NPC stations now. Right. <laughs> But I think also too that the tourism center is a um, a, a, a free port, so that could also we could also hang out there too. That's where that's where I hang out, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, Nisua have some of the best drugs in the you know Nisua cartel have the best drugs in the in the in the in Black Raz. So you know that's why I like that's why I like the tourism center. <laughs> tourism. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Frozen. Um, well, do we want to jump into a deep dive on the, uh, the reviewing, like, the monthly top for March? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, do we, uh, I thought we were just going to go through all the, the different factions first. Oh, okay, we can do that first. 
that works. Yeah. Um, and then we can do some deep dives. Let's see here. We've got um, the Keldari State has around 489 active PvP characters with around 63 corporations and six alliances. Um, so that's down a little bit. Um, during the month of March, the Keldari destroyed 8,499 ships and did over 537 billion isk worth of damage, which is quite low actually for the Keldari. Normally they have, they have higher numbers. Um, for the war zone control, the Keldari are at 72 systems, having lost a good chunk of systems compared to what they had. Um, of course, we talked about that during the nice little uh, celebration of destruction with the Galente, so. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was... Uh... So we're, we're on to the next one then? Yep, to the um, yep. Amar. The Amar Empire currently standing around 263 active PvP characters with 48 corporations and three alliances. The Amar destroyed 7,121 ships in the month of March, which is pretty high, pretty good. Uh, it did over 539 billion isk worth of damage, a little lower than the average, I think. However, the Amar have lost a lot of systems in this past month. They only currently control 11 systems compared to the 53 they had last month, which means they've lost the meaning of the universe 42 um they lost 42 systems that's huge that that is definitely something we want to discuss so i believe they're uh, at uh the mimitar are at tier four now and they went like the amar are you know down to tier one i don't know i th i feel like they were they had gained a lot of advantage in the last report that we had they you know 53 systems under their control and i believe they had gained a lot of that last month um so mm -hmm. this is a huge switch over um and uh, i is it just that the prices are better to to so the bots jumped over and i i just i'm not sure exactly where all the economics comes in on the the how this this I, I, I will say this, though, since I have been diving into the economics of LP and faction warfare, uh, when I was looking for the best place to sell my Fed Navy Comets, because I purchased, I want to say I purchased 75 Fed Navy Comets with my LP and such, and 50 of those went to us and myself and giveaways, and the other 25 I'm trying to sell. When I looked up the best price uh the best the best price was in amar for a fed navy comet hmm. so uh they didn't have as many orders but they also didn't they had they didn't have the least amount of orders so the best price by about six mil a piece so like um the average like in jitta was like 20 mil for a fed navy hull and it was like 26 mil was the the minimum or average in um uh amar space for a fed navy comet well, we are the main providers, so I would imagine our space <laughs> is like the, uh, you know, the cheapest, the cheapest, and then Mimitar because it's you know very close relations. Um, being I mean, not not there. that not that I would sell Fed Navy comets or give them away to the opposing <laughs> factions. I would never do that. Well, you're not a spy. I'm not a spy, and I'm not, so. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not a privateer. I'm. A, I'm a Galente soldier. <laughs> so one thing that is pretty um astounding that is cool kind of to see is the Mimitar Republic have like jumped up in numbers. They're at six hundred and eight characters. It's like almost double the amount yeah, of characters than what they had last month. Um so there's a huge boost that's is coming to the Mimitar. They have around eighty seven corporations and ten alliances, and that's quite a bit up, not quite double, but it's quite a bit. Um, and during the month of March, the Mimitar had 8,300 kills, um, and did over 676 billion isk worth of damage. For War Zone Control, they currently have 69 systems under their control, and rumor has it that they have, uh, noise. hit Tier 5 from time to time. You're required to say noise. Noise! Every time you say that number. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, forgot our contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. 
We're not um, slide this time. So let's go ahead and pull up the uh, Warzone map. I just think this is a really cool map here. Um, let's do the Ada Ron one. It's because I, I like the, uh... Oh. Already? Breakdown in it is is kind of cooler. You can see, like, all the stuff that's kind of, like, going on. It's got a nice live kill feed. Yeah, I really like the nice live kill feed, and uh, this is something that I think uh, people should be really aware of. This is a really cool Warzone map that you can kind of see what's going on, live feed of kind of what's happening. It's not completely instantaneously up to date. There's definitely lag time. It's, in a, lot, it's a lot greener than it has been in a while. But yeah, you and can it's see... it's about to be greener because all of these systems here are about to switch, or these ones here. So yeah, you can see that we've taken like a push from basically the south and we're just taking systems, you know, that are um, going vulnerable, but the most vulnerable ones are the closest, you know, to the to the war zone of where you're coming from normally. So so we'll be coming in on the from from the southwest going to the northeast, um, you know, slowly trying to take as many systems in. There are systems falling left and right. A lot of this is highly contested. You can see a lot of them are in the high percentile. A little, yeah, I mean, it's, hard, it's hard for the viewers to see, yeah. but uh, um, yeah, what right now, so we just took Notoras and Kadama, and so now we're gonna we're gonna hit Nisawa, right? And so we're gonna we're gonna take this up here, then we're gonna hit Tama, right? Right? Yep. And then and then we can we can clear all of this this make all this green to be really tasty. Yeah, I'm so saying. that's what we're gonna focus on as an alliance. <clears throat> um It has both war zones to switch yeah, so we will definitely be switching up over to no meaning is pointing out that there's the switch war zone tab at the top. Go ahead and click on that. And then it so switches it the, over to the Amar. Amar Amar and uh Mimitar, yeah. And yeah, you can just see the Mimitar basically just just wrecked, blotting wrecked out the MR, blotting out the sun. Bl <laughs> uh oh, well that means the MR might have to fight in the shade. <laughs> Better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Mimitar have taken so much. It's nice to see all this orange throughout the war zone. Our our buddies, Mimitar space. Freedom fighters. Yeah, yeah. We're well. It's what we're all. It's what we're all about. We're all about freedom. We're about freedom. All right. Do we want to do? Uh, yeah. A deep dive into each one of the uh, alliances or the factions. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start with uh, the Galente. So we have some interesting kills. <laughs> on the top of the board here um oh look uh gwen is uh the top killer in the galente federation currently well, that's the last nice. seven days yep yeah we're in the last seven days here do you want did you want to do um the monthly stats or um go or to top the, and month. then month yep and then go back one month All right, so this is for March. Well, that that's uh, those are some inter those are even more interesting kills. Look at this, Laylaps. What the fuck? A Fortazar, a Providence, a Marshall, a Phoenix, and an Asbel. Two hundred and thirty-two billion is go into the Laylaps real quick. I just wanna. Yeah, two hundred thirty-two billion is. We form Voltron. Uh, we form Volta Sentry Gun. That might be why we're on it. <laughs> I think it's the Sentry Gun. 
because I don't think we form Volta is. No. Nope. So yeah. Nope. Cheat. <laughs> Cheat. We're cheating here, but that's nuts. This is a. Uh, um, but I don't think that it actually goes in because it's just a century gun from us. It doesn't actually go into. That's the reason why we don't have like a crazy, uh, really high kill uh, count this year or uh, total because that's. Oh, well, this is is this Galente Federation? This is correct, yep. right? Okay. But because it's NPC, it'll have. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. It doesn't affect your kill board stats, but it'll still go up on the. Yeah, so that's why that's that's why we don't have two hundred thirty-two bill extra, as we're saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we also have this. Let's see. This Fortisar here was. Uh... Is this another kill horror? Is that what this is? No. Oh, yeah. Bull dance someone. Yeah, <laughs> Bull dance just kill horde and then got killed. <laughs> looks like. <laughs> looks like the civilian. Uh, he probably just took a little corvette no that's a oh yeah that's a gatling gun yeah, yeah. It's a gatling gun. <laughs> took a corvette and went, wah, ran right into it. that's <laughs> how you get on really good kills sometimes and then this, <laughs> there's a providence let's see this providence is just uh i think care bear pest control is uh Mimnitar, Mimnitar, public. and then and yep, care bear pest control is galente yep ouch Oh, but it look, it was a Caldari State Providence, so props to the in high sec. Nice. What did they do? Beautiful. Oh, it was it was it was it was Caldari State, so they could shoot it in high sec. Nice, dude. Yep. That's a good cat. And they can outtake that's the really uh, the NPCs probably. No, the NPCs won't shoot them. The NPCs. Oh, will. I see what you're saying. The NPCs will shoot them. The yeah, cops. yeah, yeah. But the, the cops will, but not the. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, a Kronos and a Mark Macario can tank yeah. the. Well, yeah, the uh, Con Concord yeah. Duke and Hammer doesn't come down though and punch you. Concord Duke and uh, Marshall, Rix Javix and a Marshall. ABA is this a so let's see Sonic Company knowledge? This is probably a kill horror. I'm assuming this is a kill horror. Test frat pirates. This has to be a kill whore. Jesus. I mean, they're probably on there somewhere. I saw this one cartel on there too. Where the hell was this? Uleta. Oh, okay. This this has to be like a. They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, one of those is a bomber. Or they were trying to... Uh... Yeah, there's lots of possibilities there. Um... Yeah, let's move on and just talk about the uh, top uh, top killers here, top alliances, top corps. Yeah, so uh, see the top characters in the month of March were Alexander Cardew with 669 kills. In first place, second, Lestalia, 384 kills, and Guenevic Kenyon, third place, 331 kills, Ekron, Erethion, 293, Celeste Star, 291, Chris Aldenon, 269, seven, seventh place, Mini Spartan, 233, Chad Flame coming in in eighth, 206. Damn, son. Ninth place, 204. Ten. <laughs> Tenth place, rounding up the top ten, Mr. Chuck Norris himself, 192. The top corporations, we have Adiron Robotics at the very top, first place. Second place is with, two, sorry, with 2,437 kills. The Federal Defense Union, the NPC Corp, 1,538 38 kills uh in second place mostly sober our buddies the bastard cartel third place 956 terminus fourth place with 614 golden age stories fifth place 535 that's us sixth place pony and industries corporation 334 seventh the cold storm 115 eighth idea Security Consultants, 113, Ninth Lone Wolf Society, 108, and rounding out the top 10, A Remedy for the Mad, 85. And the top alliances, uh, we have the Bastard Cartel, 974, 
The pole dancers with 615 and the Federation front line with 535. We're not too far off from second there. Um, you know. We are only just one corporation. so We are and, just and, one corporation. That's and true. We're These still guys growing. have a couple of alliances. <laughs> they have a couple Aderon of corporations. Aderon is there, crazy right? at uh, 2,437 kills on their own. That's it's huge. Yeah, yeah, they are they are going pretty nuts, and 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 I, and I want to give a shout out to Aderon um, because uh, well they know why, and we'll talk about it later. Um, and, and then uh, and mostly sober also doing some crazy. Yeah, mostly sober. Yeah, the top three Aderon and 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 well one and one and three uh, mostly sober. I think uh, the top five Cartel. are all very solid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the top five. <laughs> the top five are all very solid. I'm going to pour Golden some more whiskey stories, for that. Terminus, mostly sober, Federation Defense. Yeah, we are we are growing. Like, uh, our, our corp is growing. We have, you know, people in multiple time zones now, which is nice for plexing. Uh, we have some really bloodthirsty killers that we've recruited um, that are doing really well. And, uh, yeah. So I think uh, to want to move on to yep. the Kaldari Gwids. Jesus. <laughs> so that's a lot of revelations. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's go into the monthly top here and switch it up to March. All right. Only one revelation now. <laughs> the top characters in the <clears throat> Kaldari state... First place, Aaron Tiberius, 413 kills. Uh, we fought him a few times. Second place, Rush Alderone, 387. Third, Heinrich Suzaku, 305. Fourth, Marcos Tunic, 287. Sarah Jane Smith, 188. Kaiser Blood, 169. Days, 157. Corvus Onzo, the saltiest uh, Eve streamer. <laughs> <laughs> in existence uh eighth place 155 ninth place chromance 147 rounding out everything lockstock 145 i had a solo fight with lockstock in his rifter and i was in my comet and he managed to get away but it was a good fight i just want to point that out top corporations the npc corp state protector it is in the top with 2156 uh we have melphalin Second place, 1,280. Saitsuo Interstellar Security, 826 kills. Revenant Defense Corp Corporation, uh, 822 kills. Mercury Arms, 461 kills. Space Traffic Control, 401. Kaldari Colonial Defense Ministry, 281. Onoseki Urata, Internal Watch, 166. South of Heaven Limited, 160. Sorry for that at 157. And the top alliances, we have state public defenders at 1132. Shukurata in, uh, Enforcement Directive, 1011. And third place, Are We the Bad Guys, 961. Yes, you are the bad guys. <laughs> um, I just want to point that out. But yeah, they're, they're pretty solid with their numbers, I would say. Kaldari. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty good setup. Um, they're uh, they're still around in force, doing stuff, killing stuff in the U time zone, and then I think that we're being able to push a lot of because bots aren't flipping systems, so we are. I mean, in the sense of like killing the uh, the bunker. Yeah, they, they have to fight the RIH hub. Right, huh? And there's not there's not any pushback right now because um, it's all happening in in off time zones from each other we need more we need everybody needs to like get more people in every time zone <laughs> yeah so we can always have fights man that's what it's all about right like we fights and um you know control I'm really surprised the pirates haven't uh come to uh they will yeah they will i think they will but let's uh head over on to our brothers the minmatar republic See what we have going on here. Tasty. Everybody has a phoenix. At least one phoenix in their top <laughs> kills. There's that Providence. Uh, 
that we saw earlier, a rourke with two phoenixes and two revelations. Oh, do you want do you want to do this one? real quick? Yeah. There's a little no meaning wanted to point out that much of the flips today took place in the typical Kaldari uh, Mimitar or Cal Mill Prime Zone. Only one dude showed up to contest, so Kaldari, even in the prime time, aren't trying to stop us. Because I got say they're like, we don't care. Whatever, take it back. That's what I was seeing. People crying. Diana's on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you want to do you want to run run down the Mimitar there, Frozen? Yep. So let's see here. We got uh, Gladwin um, at six hundred and sixteen kills. Um, Dalior Kan uh, Kandinsky four hundred and eighty five kills. Fort Winks at four hundred and fifty seven kills. Nitro DSP at three hundred and seventy four kills. Plutonium M86 at 353 kills. Uh, Cylon 2000 at 282 kills. I really thought that one would have tripped you up, but you got it. <laughs> I played enough uh, Master of Orion. To... <laughs> <laughs> um, Baron Pin Coolio at uh, 248 kills. Uh, Paddington at four or to no, two hundred and thirty nine kills. Um, Alton at uh, two hundred and twenty nine kills. Kyra Andiali um, at two hundred and eighty eight kills. Um, and at the top of the corporations at. 1,231 kills. We've got Kill em All and let Bob sort them out, so they're keeping true to their name there. <laughs> um, the Nomads of the Republic are at 1,096 kills. Mimitar Secret Service at 1,056 kills. All very, very solid names. Um, and solid numbers. Solid numbers amongst the solid names. The Tribal Liberation Force coming in at 4th, but still at 961 kills. Triad at 931 kills. Unlimited 2.0 at 856 kills. Um, Hope uh, Hoplite Brigard, the Brigade, the Brigade Brigard, Brigadiers. Br br at Brigadiers. Brigade, it's Brigade. Brigade words. <laughs> Anyways, 834. Um, Ice Fire Warriors at 639. SOE Rough Riders at 466 kills. And Last Rites at 366. Ugh. Last Rites at 366 kills, yes. Uh, Urshikov. <laughs> you said that correctly. I yes. was like, what? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, good morning, Saber. Um, we've got uh, Urshikan at the top, number one alliance um, at 3,147 kills. That's that's super impressive. Uh, solid that's alliance. A, yeah, it's an big. ancient badass alliance. Infinite Pew coming in a solid second at 1,405 kills. So I think Urshikan is kill them all and Bob. Let's sort them, let Bob sort them out. Nomads of Republic and Mimitar Secret Service because those are the top <laughs> numbers that equal. <laughs> it, it almost all adds I think, I'm off, almost. I think I'm off there because I think I went too far but a anyways. little bit off but, uh, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, smile and wave at 1202 kills uh, solid performance on the top tasty, three alliances there tasty wheat that's a tasty wheat and for the Amar like we got another phoenix yeah yeah there's a phoenix and everybody's <laughs> everybody's got to take down a phoenix so at least every everybody's seven days. got a phoenix in or their monthly top. i monthly. was actually on the kill of the phoenix on our top i just want to point that out <laughs> <laughs> but here you go frozen here's the if you want to yeah so analysis. let's see here we got uh i have no idea miss miss 
Nichanabel. Miss Nichal. Miss Nichal. Miss Nichal. I can't. I'm a horrible I can't. human. Seven hundred and nineteen uh, kills. Aldrith uh, Shut Shutqua. Uh, Shutak. Shutak. Yeah. Sorry, I'm also tired and just completely deadbeat after and hungover after last night's party. Do you want me to take over? I'm, I'm glad to take oh, over. Go ahead. I, I can't. I can barely oh, see. I'll just shoot Tack at 590. <laughs> Third place, Terminator 9999, 540. Billy the Space Kid. Oh, I like that. 528. Diabolic 09 at 525. Zentiza 484. Vilksen Schlong at 466. He's been on our show. Vilksen has. Riddo with 428, Mikhail Vector 372, and Stamen Patekane 371. That's your top 10 for the MR. Top Corporations, Dirt and Glitter with 2,228 kills. Second place, Red Sky Morning at 2,146 kills. Radiant Shadow, 1,254. Holy Amarian Battle Monk, 1,013 kills. And the 24th Imperial Crusade, the NPC Corporation, coming in at 653 kills. Atash E. Sarum Vanguard, 600 kills. Order of Garulor, 390 kills. Task Force, 641, 333 kills. Ooh, that's a nice number. It's half of uh, the number of the beast. It's half Not, <laughs> uh, Kind of Hail Satan? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> not quite there uh, yet, though. Not quite there yet. <laughs> A priori, uh, 254 and clan of the scavengers at 206 and 10th place the top three alliances local is primary of course local is always primary 4436 that's a lot second the imperian edict 1575 and the imperial frontiers with 18 those are rookie numbers i think we need to we need to pump those numbers up. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's, I think that's all we have. The deep dive of all the particular yeah. factions. So do we want to head over to a little section we like to, where we, where we talk about our Wednesday nights? Is that, is that what we're doing? The after action report and anybody else can submit after actions and there's other and we have other of you know it's it's Wednesday but we're also going to talk about Notorious and um, you know there's uh, I guess there is and a lot of soda. fighting but we're all going to have some soda after the, uh, there's going to be a state of the alliance after after this I don't think we pointed that out before we started but the state of the alliance will be streamed live after this episode yep so recent activity here for for the federation front line on wednesday night gwen took out a fleet frozen was not available uh at that time so i can say whatever i want right now and he won't know whether i'm lying or not like i can just make a bunch of shit up <laughs> he murdered everyone. because he wasn't there i murdered everybody in all of glen I, I killed all the kaldari in glente space no so <laughs> what happened was um I took out uh, the fleet. We started on a gate camp. Um, we killed. We didn't. We didn't kill anything on the gate camp. We were being followed. This is. This is all going to go together. We were being followed by a um, a covert uh, frig. I did notice that early on, but then also we had two Tech Three cruisers. I think it was a Loki and a Legion. Uh, start to fuck with us on our starting gate. No, oh, never. Um, and and <laughs> I looked closely at the Legion while we were sitting there at 300 off the gate and it didn't have any weapons on it. So I'm, I'm assuming that there was Sinos. So um, was it fucking and, with you? Was it like shooting or? No, it wasn't. It wasn't shooting at us. Bumping. It just, um, they were, they, they, they were baiting. So there were two, there were two Tech 3 cruisers baiting. One of them, the Legion, I could tell didn't have weapons on it. If I zoomed in on it, it had nothing coming out of it. So um, I assumed that they were, it could have had newts. It could have had newts too, but there were two Tech 3 cruisers. We weren't, we didn't have a whole lot um, as far. We didn't have any Lodgy. Uh, I don't think I don't think did we did we have Lodgy? Fuck. No, Shinji was there. Yeah, we had Lodgy. 
Um, I don't think we had Laji at first because La because Shinji had to take care of something. So we didn't have Laji at the time, and there were two Tech Three cruisers. Whether they were Sinos or they were gonna they could have fucked us up. When we didn't have Laji, they could have killed a couple of us. So I backed off and I said, you know what? It it could be so you know it could be Shadow. It could be it could be uh, um, BBC. It could be, uh, fuck snuff. It could be snuff. Um, and so I was like, let's just let's just ship down. We shipped down to um, Atrons, and uh, I flew us into the heart of Tam. I think it was five Atrons, and um, four or five Atrons, and we immediately hopped into, I believe it was a, a novice, and in came a Fed Navy Comet, a Punisher, and a Kaldari Navy Hookbill. Um, and we had a nice little skirmish. Um, we did lose, we did lose one Atron in said skirmish, but we got the hook bill and oh, we got, solid. and we got the, the comet and we got the Punisher. So three um, for, three for one, did you say? Yeah. Three for one. One Atron for for a Punisher, a Hook Bill, and a Fed Navy Comet. We did good. We came out as positive. We came out point positive. Um, Those are two tough ships for uh, Atrons. Yeah, and Atrons are oh my god, Atrons are great. So <laughs> I want to I want to do so, so. This is something you're not going to see on the kill board, but we stayed in Tama, and my Intel. I had a few Intel ta channels, and one of them, the, particularly my my Tama Intel channel, said uh, that there were two combat recons hiding in the medium and i said was it what there was a, it was a curse and a moon in, a, no not a munin yeah munin is it the is it the munin or is it the hugen hugen no, hugen's a hack hugen hugen's no. a hack it's a, because it's the hugen because i call mine the hug oh, okay so he okay so it was it was a curse and a hugen um and uh, I had the intel, and I was like, "Well, we got five Atrons. Uh, maybe we, maybe we could do some damage to one of them." I said, "Maybe we could do some damage to one of them." Uh, and and I, th I thought about it for a few minutes, and I was like, "You know what? Let's do this. Let fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just fucking go." We warped over to the medium. We warped into the Plex, and there they were—a curse and a Hugin. And I gave the command to rush the curse and kill the curse, and those motherfuckers warped off. Oh. Five Atrons. Five Atrons. We scared we they scared could, away two combat recon ships. All. But they would have been held <laughs> down for a little while. And that's what they they were probably afraid of a giant, you know. I don't care. We you. said we said <laughs> we said we scared these fuckers away with five Atrons. <laughs> that's all that mattered. <laughs> so um we uh we came back and oh, we went to we went to a, we also caught a Kestrel um in uh one of the the knob they came in on us and then we went to we went back to gate camping and we caught this tasty hurricane fleet issue a squid no less Ooh, that was a tasty kill that proof that you know came to our gate that's a beautiful <laughs> ship but that's a pve fit and that's uh that's a sad but he's city. a caldari state yeah why why are you in low sack caldari state in a pve ship you deserve why, why why would you do that but we we got him <laughs> we got him and uh <laughs> tacky did maybe lose a, a kiki to sentry guns at some point during that, uh, we'll just not look at that. It happened. But this little fight here, this little fight here, this was a beautiful fight. This is what ended the night. Um, a shout out to Zoe for Sai because they're awesome. They want to come out with this on next Wednesday. But uh, um, they happen to know that perhaps, and you'll, you'll, I'm going to tell this little story here. They, they happen to know that you know we were gate camping the Suge Gate at the time. Um, they may have known that, and um, so they brought their hype with dual, dual abyssal reps. It's a Hyperion with dual abyssal reps. Needless to say, it was a tough fight. We had our one, two, two. No we had two Gnosis and two Lokis. I know, I I know, Frozen. 
It wouldn't <laughs> normally have Lokis on the on a gate camp, but uh, Tacky likes to fly, blingy shit, and um, well. No, they're good gate campers. You just got to be careful. Oh, three, three gnosises. I'm sorry. Dark did lose R.I.P. Dark's gnosis. We did lose Dark Religion's gnosis. Um, but uh, uh, so we had three gnosises and two Lokis, and um, Alazar was in his Loki too. And Alazar again. That's I believe I believe the same Loki that uh, got that Iki for us. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we were sitting on the skate. We were fighting this Hyperion. The Hyperion. So the Hyperion comes to actually. You know what? Frozen. I do believe I have the footage. If you're interested, I'll, I'll pull up the footage really quick. Don't look at my ugly mug. Oh, I pressed the wrong buttons. Videos. Let's see featured. We'll go to. I think it was a highlight. Here we go. So something fun oh, motherfucker. Check, check, Hyperion. Well, we got... Hyperion. Check, check, Hyperion. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker. That's check, great. Check. Probably for F. the Vargo. Are you guys in or out? <laughs> I'm in. Okay, I'm let's do it. it. Hype. We'll shoot the hype. I had to, I had to opt the it's Loki's in the for other that. Side. It jumped, it jumped. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're definitely going to catch it, so just shoot at it until it dies. It's, it's flashy. Shoot at it until it it's dies. It's flashy, so yeah, drones FC. out. It's not the like we're going to take FC. gate guns or anything. <laughs> um, well, it might run out of it might run out of suspect as soon as it comes out. Try to get on its hole and uh, use close range ammo. Yeah. It's like, oh shit. He's right holding now. cloak. Um, maybe he's not related, because that would suck for them. There was a Varger in Tam if at the time, not, and I was I mean, worried that it really was baiting strong. for the Varger. It's really strong. Yeah, and I won't try it. it so. Y'all ready for this? It's going to decloak soon. I'm going to be. All right, we're fighting. Point Burning towards him so I can get the. This was intense, Hyperion coming to our gate and and actually taking the fight. Him. Is anybody taking heat right the now? Reps on can, that thing have to be crazy. Uh, looks like Alazar is taking newt. Oh, he... nothing to it. Let him newt me all day. He can't do nothing to it. <laughs> Let him newt me all day. <laughs> he was low keep, I, I switched to con flag. If you're close <laughs> enough, switch to con flag and burn him down. He's got, got reps. On me. He's got reps. Watch and... your heat. Watch your heat. I'm watching my heat. Watch your heat. Watch your heat. Good point. Watch, watch your heat. heat. Don't want to burn out your guns. <laughs> Somebody want to kill those drones? All right, never mind. I'll put my drones on them. Don't worry about. It. Yeah, that. Yeah, the, he's taking pretty the good. on those things are yeah. so crazy. Astro just came through. All right, I'm turning off my heat because I can't start, anymore. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead, get up and I'm gonna start nuding them. Okay, yeah, start oh. nuding them. This was I'm a gonna tough fight. With those drones with mine. I'm starting to fight. It mean. took a little while, but not too long. I promise right. it's worth it. I'm the taking, payoff is worth it. <laughs> I'm taking heat now. But he just repping through our shit, just like repping, repping through our shit. I got him. I got him scrams. Too. And then he started to wreck my face just now. Oh, I was about man. to look at the going back on. I have oh, no. I've been into structure. On him, no? How did you? I started repping. I'm warping off. We don't have. We my don't. We don't have Logi. No, we don't have Logi. Yeah. Um. We don't have logic. Oh my god! Wipe off if you can. I went down to not. like 25% structure. Oh, we got him. We just gotta wait for his ancillary shield to go down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm pointing yeah. down. I'm gonna make it. He didn't have ancillary shields. <laughs> Dark is gonna die. I am completely capped out and no reps. R.I.P. Dark. Don't no, worry, you. Just... I'll come yeah. back in a second here. So I had to just warp off. Know, uh, we're gonna sign away and uh, just uh, don't shoot both of them. Okay, we won't shoot you. <laughs> we won't shoot you. Didn't let you know oh. we're sidoing in. <laughs> the Sino is coming in out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I said Sino is friendly. Sino. This is Shaki Lazali Kestrel. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm gonna wrap up and I'll come back, guys. I just I I have structure. Yeah, we yeah we just gotta stay on him because he's yeah, gonna run off pretty soon. I'm newting him pretty hard too. All right, I'll come back. I'm scrammed and webbed. He's Shaki. not gonna last long. He'll last me <clears throat> five minutes. Dark is down. Dark. All right, I'm loading weapons right now. Respect. Drones are on him. There's the Sino. There we go. Here comes. Here comes the the parade. Don't you guys shoot. With us, right? Yeah, don't shoot the widow. Okay. A widow, Sinoed in. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna um, rep really quick. Get repair quote. Repair all. So those guys, those guys are not gonna shoot us. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, we'll kill, the hype. We'll so. kill the hype first, and then we'll see what happens. We'll uh, shoot the hype first, and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm coming back right now. All right, I'm pulling. I'm putting... We've hit Archer once or twice on him. Yeah, well, yeah. I got I got deeps right. coming right I'm, now. I'm I'm capped out right now. All right, deeps are hitting hard now. Deeps are hitting hard now. We're deeps are hitting hard. Bruh. <laughs> mm. All right, now my my DPS, my full DPS is back on him. Woo, Ooh, man. He is a rapid cow kid. <laughs> it's rapid no, hard. I'm in structure. I had to leave. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Get out if you have to. If you have to. We're still. We're yeah, still I left talking. drones behind. All right, he's got his acolytes Does, on. Did me. he not have a, a point on him? Man, we need newts. No, he's <laughs> pointed. No, I mean. Oh he, no, he point. He was pointing some of us. Drones. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck them up too. Surprising that you got away without getting pointed. You know, like how he didn't. Oh, oh, he's in structure. Oh, he's going down. Yeah! <laughs> get the yeah. rifter, get his rifter before it gets away. Oh, his, that's gone. His escape. All right, everybody pull drones and warp to the wing. Everybody pull drones and warp to the everybody wing. Everybody warp to the wing. Everybody pull drones. Back to get my drones. So, um, yeah, so basically what had happened was when we got to that point, someone hops on our comms and says, the Sino's, the Sino's friendly. And I was like, everybody, the Sino's friendly, the Sino's friendly. <laughs> and, um, they signed in two widows, but I want to point out, we got that kill. Gwen is still top damage, even with two widows being blopped onto the field. <laughs> so I just because I, I I warped off and then I came back and I kept going. But that was that was a fun kill. Zoe was awesome about it. I talked to them afterwards, um, and I was like, he was like, dude, that Loki. That reps on that Loki, Alizar's Loki. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna say exactly what it was, but his Loki is ridiculous. I'm just put that out there. It just it's ridiculous. But yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, and um, yeah, that sums up that that was the end of Wednesday night. Um, Wednesday night, and uh, it was a it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah. We, we we also have let's see um the liber we, we, do we want to talk we want to dive into the liberation of the Tauros? is that what we're doing next uh i mean a little bit we've we've already kind of touched base on it on this episode but yeah basically i mean because there wasn't any fighting that really happened um, oh there wasn't any fighting was there frozen oh was there there was we did shoot something didn't we wait a minute really I totally forgot about this. You're gonna have so, to. You're gonna have to. So, my so brain cells got it fried. Was, it was a long. It was a, a, a long, grudging day. I did stream, and I, I, I was, I was, um, <coughs> with oh, our court yeah, mates. I remember this. We, we did like. I want to say we did it like twenty percent during the day, uh, plexing the Taurus. But uh, towards the end of the day, uh, we were getting close to the end, and uh, Frozen came online, and uh, we had a few people in the system. And I was gate, uh, Gwen was gate camping solo, quote unquote, solo. I was watching the game in Enosis. And I think Frozen, you were also in Enosis. We had a couple others. Uh, we had that uh, um, hook, a hook bill and a, and a catalyst. And uh, I said, check, check. There's a Vedmac. There's a Vedmac coming to the gate and he's a Kaldari state. <laughs> I said, Frozen warped to me. And then Frozen gave the command to the rest of uh, the um, plexers in in the uh in in the Tauros to warp to Gwen and uh this dude came in in a Vedmac and we wrecked his face like he just like ouch yeah and he was a, he was a, a a dual tank dual rep really heavily armor tanked um and he and he was a like a he had a drone link augmentator so like uh we did have uh he did have a Dread Garistus Warp Scrambler. What did he drop? Let's see. He dropped. He dropped quite a bit of stuff. But uh... no, no, no. We can move on now. We can just. <laughs> he remembers now. <laughs> I remember why I forgot about this. You <laughs> <laughs> remember why you forgot? I said. I said loot the wreck. Loot the wreck. 
Yeah. And then Frozen goes, oh, I shot it. <laughs> and I, I died, dude. I, was I had prime. I had my guns primed for some reason. I don't know why. And I clicked <laughs> on it. A... I clicked on it so I'd move towards it. You know, I was going <laughs> to click it and then click approach. And then it blew up the wreck. The wreck was all of a sudden disappeared. But, but I, I think we got. But we got half, a couple I of think things. half of at least half of what dropped was um, grabbed because somebody grabbed the fa the most important piece, the dread Grace's warp scrambler. But that was hilarious, and I, I don't want to let him live that one down because it was hilarious. But yeah, so um, <clears throat> I think that's that's all we have for the the monthly report, correct? And and now we have the we're going to move on to the State of the Union, or. Yeah, I think, uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap this on up here. Thank you all for watching. Um, so that was the month of March um, and some uh, last week's activities um, on Wednesday. So come and check us on out. Um, you can always... Oh, I, I apologize. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in jo joining up with the war effort, put an application into Golden Age Stories. Alt Spies, welcome. Come on, let's just have some fun. You can watch us live on Twitch Sundays at 2300 Eve time, 5 p.m. Central time. Um, however, if you did miss the show, you can always catch us um, on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, um, that, all of that stuff. It's the Federation <laughs> Frontline Report. Um, a track so, tape. All the A track. We will we'll send you an A track if you send us a handwritten letter. It says. Uh, <laughs> Since absolutely like an a track i'll find it i'll find, I will a, find way. a way to put our episodes <laughs> on an a track if, just if, for you a handwritten letter <laughs> um if you if you have news that you would like to talk about on the show or if you have an after action report um that you'd like us to talk about we'll pay you between 10 and 100 million is to go out and do some reporting for us and get some info, info depending on the quality of uh what you bring to us is what you'll get paid out you can send an eve mail to frozen fallout in game or you can email us at federation frontline report at gmail.com and so that is today's show thank you all for showing up thank you everybody fly dangerously <laughs>